Whenever I need icons for my Webflow project, one of the first places I go is fontawesome.com. They have a fantastic selection of free, high quality, open source icons that we can include as text glyph or as an SVG. It only takes a couple minutes to set up in Webflow, so let me show you how to do that right now. We'll go ahead and get started by going to fontawesome.com slash download, and we're gonna look at the latest version, which is 6.4.0 for the web. We're just gonna click this big button here, free for the web, and it's gonna download to my computer. Very first thing I need to do is unzip that file that we downloaded. And so when I do that, I'll get a folder called Font Awesome Free 6.4 for Web. And you can see within there in web fonts, we have FA Brands 400, uh, FA Regular 400, and FA Solid 900. I'm gonna be using FA Solid 900 and FA Brands 400, and we'll use the Woof 2 for this. Next, we'll pop into our Webflow project. In here, we're gonna click on the Project Settings icon up at the top left. And then we're gonna go into the Fonts tab. So back in Webflow, in our Custom Fonts section, let's click Upload. And we're gonna wanna upload the, let's see, Brands 400 and the FA Solid 900. Now we just need to click this Upload Font File button for each one. And we can see we've got FA Brands 400 and FA Solid 900. You could go ahead and edit this and say that the font weight is actually 900, and we'll save that. Head back to the Webflow project. And you can see I'm getting started with a project about coffee. Now we'll go to fontawesome.com slash icons or fontawesome.com slash search. And I'm gonna look for free icons and I'm gonna search for coffee. I like this mug saucer, so I'll click on that. And if we wanna use the glyph, that's right up here in the top right. So we'll just click on that and it's gonna tell us in this tooltip that it's been copied. And we'll go back to Webflow. And right here before coffee, I will paste it. Now it's not showing up because we haven't applied the font to it. So the very first thing we wanna do is select it and we'll wrap it with the span. And I'll just say this FA icon class. And all this class is gonna do is I'll take the font and I will set it to FA solid 900, just like that. And we could add a little bit of margin right on there, 0.5 rem, let's say. Since this is a text glyph, we can come down here to the color and apply a different color and it'll happen to everything. Or since it's a span, you know, we could just style the span as well. If you wanted to use it as an SVG, all you would have to do is come down here and click on the SVG tab and click on it to copy it. Come back to Webflow and here we'll drop an embed. So we'll just drop it in like that and save and close. And now let's actually pull that outside of our wrapper here. And you can see we have our SVG within our embed and it's taking up the whole wrapper div. So let's just call this an embed. And I wanna limit this to something like two rem. And it's up stuck up here in the top left, but I just wanted to show you how to drop it in as an SVG as well, if that was better for your use case. Now what you can do is you can add to the path, you can say fill equals current color. And whatever color we give this embed is what color will be applied to our SVG. Just like that. Now, since we used Font Awesome Solid 900 and Font Awesome Brands, we can also look for brands and I'm going to get rid of the coffee filter here. And now you can see we have all these different band glyphs to choose from um, and makes it really easy to drop these into our project for things like social share or whatever we wanna use. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.